On December 21st, 2020, not one, but two little boys, Classic and Sincere Pettis, also known as Orrin and Orson West, were reported missing from California City, California. Only four and three years old, the adoptive parents claimed that the boys had wandered off after getting through a gate that the father had accidentally left open. Where are Classic and Sincere? Let's break down the facts. Despite a pretty good act, I didn't believe the story that adoptive father Trizel West was giving to explain how not one but two toddlers went missing from the home they recently moved to. The more I learned about the Wests, the more the story they've been sticking to stinks to the high heavens. In the early days of the investigation, police were not able to confirm an independent sighting of classic and sincere by any of the neighbors in California City where the West family had recently moved to from Bakersfield. After neighbors reported seeing four children, not six, since the Wests also had two biological sons and two more adopted sons, the search shifted back to Bakersfield around the Casa Loma apartments where the family previously lived. As of March 1st of this year, the Bakersfield, California Police Department had taken charge of the investigation. So far, there have been 16 mass area searches, as well as three searches outside of California. 44 search warrants have been executed, 170 items have been seized, and 83 interviews have been conducted. Despite all of this and a reward of at least $125,000, there has been no trace of evidence leading to the boys' whereabouts. But not for duty, Ron, one of the best true crime channel creators, in my opinion, these sweet little babies may have faded into the public's eye. Ron has been making donations to cover the cost of electronic billboards with the boys' pictures on them so that people living in and passing through Kern County, California, don't forget that these two little boys are still missing. I know that so many people are asking how it happens that these little kids are vanishing into thin air. I don't as much ask how as I ask why. Perhaps it's because I'm cynical but with the possible exception of little Michael Vaughn in Idaho, I believe that the parents of these children are responsible for them going missing. In my opinion, I think that Trizel West knows what happened to these boys and also knows that without evidence that a crime took place, police won't be able to arrest him. Unfortunately, there's a lot of that mindset going around, and in upcoming videos, I'll be talking about creeps like Barry and Larry, Two men who I fear may get away with murdering their wives. As for our boys, it remains to be seen whether or not Duty Ron will be successful in coordinating a drone search with the help of Midwest EquiSearch. I'll be dedicating a separate video to drone search capabilities because I want to have a better understanding of how drones can help search for missing people who have been missing for close to a year or more. Now I'd like to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what you think happened to Classic and Sincere Pettis and why. I'm always interested in what other people think about these cases. Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video where we'll continue to break down the facts.